One other thing I'd be interested to know is what people within the jazz world or not in the jazz world have influenced you in your playing? In my playing? Well, I draw from everything that I hear. You know, so I listen to classical music, I listen to some popular forms, you know, uh, blues, folk, uh, some rock and roll, you know, so, mm -hmm. so I, I try to be quite eclectic in my mm -hmm. likes and dislikes, you know. So. And who, who would you say is your favourite all-time sax saxophone player? Saxophone player? <laughs> um, my favourite all-time saxophone player um, and the person that I... I think I'm probably most influenced by. Well, I have two. Um, okay. The first one is is maybe Wayne Shorter. Um, mm -hmm. Wayne Shorter, I really like his concept. And so, have you? Do you know him as a person? Yeah, I've yeah. met him a couple of times, but I know him. But whether the, whether he <laughs> knows me or not, that's, that's <laughs> yeah, I can't say that. And another is um, Sonny Rollins, great Sonny Rollins, okay. and they both still alive. You know? Amazing. And of okay. course, I love John Coltrane. You know. Yeah. yeah, and is, is Sonny Rollins yeah. still playing now? Yeah, he's still, still, still performing, still alive, yeah. 82 years old. 82, yeah. And he's still performing, yeah. And Wayne mm -hmm. Shorter is 80, and he's still performing. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, those are the guys that I try to, you know, draw mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. most from. Yeah. And not copy, but learn how to do, as opposed to what to do, mm -hmm. you know, which is a thing that I yeah. learned from Art Blakey. Now, as, as, as a jazz musician, it's such, um, it's such a hard business to be in, to mm -hmm. sustain for so many years. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, can you, can you tell us about what, um, how, do you, how do you motivate yourself? I mean, you still have to practice every day. Mm -hmm. You know, what, what keeps you... Well, the thing about jazz is um, once you've been bitten by that jazz bug, you know, then you have no choice but to do it. The music is so powerful that mm -hmm. if you're that kind of person, it just inspires you to do it. I listen to these great players and I get a lot of inspiration from that. You know, what I put on Coltrane, man, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it just blows my mind every time. Yeah, you know, even so, now, after saying Yeah, like even now. And the more, the deeper I go into it, the more I understand yeah. and the more I can relate to what he's doing, you mm -hmm. know. So, it just makes me want to get closer and closer and, and, and w wants me to, get to a higher level so that I could sort of like reach some of those mm. things that he reached, you know? Now, as being, with jazz being quite a difficult music for some people to get into, from mm -hmm. the, I mean, obviously, once you get the bug, um, then, then, then you, you know, but, but just to get into jazz... Mm -hmm. what as a listener, you As a listener, if someone is not listening to jazz, mm -hmm. what would you, how would you suggest them, what artists maybe to try to start with? Well, I would suggest that they go, they, they, you know, there's a lot of people that makes it easy to get into it, mm -hmm. you know, and then as you sort of like, sort of digest that, mm -hmm. then you might want to try the more serious things, yeah, you know. Yeah. But when, when, when you say words like serious, it's not like serious, <laughs> like, oh, you know, it's, because it's, yeah. it's about understanding the music and, and exposing yourself to it. The more yeah, you expose yeah. yourself to it, the more you start to understand, to understand. Yeah. and the Absolutely. more you start to like, you know? Yeah. 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 So, if you never expose yourself to it, then you'll continue not liking it, mm. you know, so. Yeah. So, John, what have you got coming up in the future? Say, you know, do you plan a year or two ahead? Well, yeah, I'm always thinking about different projects that I want to do. Um, once we get this album out the way and get it out to people through gigs and, you know, advertising mm. as much as we can, then I'm looking at um, another project that I love doing because Miles Davis is one of my heroes. You know, his career went through so many different phases. I really love the when he started doing the electric thing in the '70s, mm -hmm. and I've dabbled into that electric um, idea as well. I have a band. I guess you can call it an electric band. It's called Nasir. You're not going to use the Ewe, Ewe. No, not the Ewe, no, no. It's organic, organic okay. electric, yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I have a, a new uh, a project that I'm thinking, I've been thinking about it for a few years now, um, of using the sound um, palette of Miles' famous, you know, record, Bitches Brew. Mm -hmm. Just the sound palette. Okay. But with my own composition and my own, you know, and sort of take that sound and use it in today's, you know, with what we got today. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. So that's one of my, so 
combination of trumpet, bass, clarinet, and pianos, wow. guitars, mm -hmm. and that group improvisation thing that they had in the yeah. bitches group period, you know, That's really using that. Yeah. So. so who would you say you would love to work with, who would you collaborate with somebody? No, collaborate. Come on, give us, a, give us a, the top three, they might be watching. Collaborate. Um, I would love to be produced by the great bassist producer Marcus Miller. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I'd love to, to work with Marcus Miller. I would love to learn and work with the great Herbie Hancock, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I mean, things yeah. work out, but you know. Yeah. So, so that's, yeah, that sounds, uh, well, they could be watching me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jean, we're going to finish the interview with asking you what your PS is. Something that your fans don't know about you. Mm. Well, I, I, I love martial arts and boxing. You know, I did Shotokan karate for many years. and. Um, I'm into the boxing now. I do boxing training, not actual fighting, but just the training because I can't fight with my arm oh, and all that. Of course, you know? no, But I do the training, and I love the training, and it's a way yes. of keeping fit, you know. So that I really enjoy that, you know. So you're you're a very healthy jazz musician. Oh, right? I try to yeah, be definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much mm -hmm. for um, for telling us all about your, your and good luck with the launch of the album. Yes, thank you thank for having you. me. Thank you. Tate's song, look out for it. <laughs> <laughs>